Hey guys, this is Spartacus here and welcome back to another video. The Vanguard multiplayer beta has been extended until September 22nd, 10 a.m. Pacific time and so I thought I would go ahead and make this video to show you what I believe are the top five weapons to use in the beta and potentially when the full game comes out. Now keep in mind, we don't have access to every single gun in the beta so there's that to point out and then another thing to point out is that between now and when the full game does come out, we don't know if statistically these guns are going to be buffed or nerfed and so I don't know how these guns are going to perform once the full game comes out it's possible they're going to perform completely differently but as of right now I'm going to be showcasing five weapons that I personally like to use that I think you guys might find very beneficial while you're playing the multiplayer and so anyway with that said let's go ahead and start with the first weapon this first weapon should not come to a surprise to any of you but it's going to be the STG 44 this is the first assault rifle you unlock in the game and just like every single call of Duty game, the first assault rifle you unlocked is literally viable in like any type of situation that you're in, and it literally says that in the description for this gun, where basically they don't make this gun overpowered at literally any distance that you're trying to kill enemies, whether it's close range, medium range, or long range, and of course it doesn't have like a super fast fire rate, but it is pretty mediocre, also the damage is pretty mediocre, I mean literally all around it's a mediocre gun, but with that being said though, since it's viable in pretty much any situation that you're in, you're more than likely going to be able to kill an enemy as long as they're not using a weapon that's better for that specific range you're having that gun fight in and so either way it's a great weapon to actually start off with since it is the first one you unlock in the game it's definitely one that you should stick with for a little while until you unlock guns that you want to use and of course that are better than the STG 44 but yeah definitely STG 44 by far a very good gun overall I mean I'm very impressed with the gun how it doesn't have high recoil the recoil is super easily manageable I love the iron sight and the fire rate is just literally perfect amount just to get that time to kill on an enemy and so all around I am going to put this gun in my list just because I personally like using it. This next weapon that we're going to be going over is another assault rifle and it's going to be the bar. Honestly the assault rifles in this game that we have access to in the beta are all pretty good but I'm going to have to give the bar a shout out just because I don't see enough people actually using it and I actually find it very very good and so this is a more of a long range assault rifle to actually use. It has very good damage but it has very slow fire rate and so each time this gun fires it does kick up quite a bit so it definitely has a lot more recoil than what you see it compared to the STG 44 but it also has a slow fire rate with a high damage profile also another thing I like to mention is that since this gun is mostly meant for long ranges I don't recommend trying to hip fire this thing at close range I mean obviously if you are in a very tight situation where an enemy just all of a sudden bum rush you and you have to hip fire then yeah go ahead and do it but just be aware the normal hip fire on this thing isn't really that great and since it has a slow fire rate it's going to be really hard to kill enemy players who are running SMGs and who are killing you point blank where while you have this gun however long range this thing is really good honestly I don't find the recoil too hard to manage even though it does kick a lot more than the STG but with that high damage profile it just feels so satisfying getting kills and so I think once you unlock attachments with this thing later on I definitely recommend getting more uh, of an extended mag on this thing because it does have a low ammo count by default it only has 20 rounds in its magazine and for me personally that is like too low and so I have to go for a higher number than that then of course you can use an optic if you want I don't mind the iron sights too much however I think an optic definitely helps a little bit more since you are going to be picking people off at longer ranges and so overall this gun is definitely good for those longer range gunfights if you're comparing it to the STG and it's just very satisfying getting kills overall this next gun has to be in this video because literally like this is by far the best SMG in the game and that is mp40 the mp40 you guys i love this gun so much it is by far better than the m1928 which some of you may argue which could be better than the mp40 but i just think the mp40 is just a lot better overall it has great close range damage to it it literally has a great fire rate as well with a recoil pattern that isn't too hard to control either i was very shocked i thought this gun was going to have a lot more recoil to it but it actually doesn't and of course if you run the right attachments you can easily handle this gun very very efficiently and so I can definitely see this being a warzone meta weapon once the full game does get integrated into warzone and so yeah I highly recommend using this SMG uh, you do have to unlock it a little bit later on in the beta and of course in the full game but of course uh, there's going to be other SMGs that we're going to be able to use once the full game is available to us but as of right now the MP40 is definitely a top contender when it comes to some of the best weapons in this game and so if you're someone who loves to rush around use that dead silence and just try and 
flank enemy teams, this is the gun to use it with because the movement speed on it is also very well. And so I was very pleasantly surprised of how fast you move while running with this weapon. So yeah, definitely use this gun. If you haven't already, you are missing out big time and yet I promise you, you won't regret it. Even with no attachments on this thing, it totally just shreds enemies. And so you guys have to hop on to the MP40 train. Moving on to the next weapon, this is going to be a secondary weapon and it is the machine pistol. I cannot tell you how good this gun plays as a secondary weapon. It's not something you would run around with as a primary weapon and hoping just to go on a long kill streak with it. I definitely don't think it's one of those weapons, but by far is the best secondary weapon to use in the game and just makes the perfect sidearm for when you run out of ammo on your primary weapon. Let's say you're in this sticky situation. Let's say you just got a double kill with your SMG, but now you have to reload, but you know there's enemies pushing you. You don't have time to reload. Switch to your pistol. You know, switching to your sidearm is always faster than reloading. Remember that, you guys. And so switching to this pistol while you run out of ammo with your primary weapon can be a huge lifesaver. There are a couple drawbacks to this. Obviously, it is a fully automatic pistol that you can use, and it only has by default 10 rounds in its magazine. And of course, until you unlock future magazines while leveling up this gun that can increase that ammo size, as of right now, you got to be very on, like on point on targets when you're shooting this thing because, first of all, it has a very high vertical recoil. The vertical recoil on this thing is extremely high. However, the damage profile it has on it and the fire rate on it as well is extremely fast. And so you have to hit your targets. You cannot miss any shots at all if you want to guarantee yourself a kill. Now, obviously, it doesn't take all 10 bullets to actually kill an enemy, but you do actually have to stay on target because it does shoot really fast. So it's very likely you're going to miss some shots and it's only good for getting one kill. Like you can probably pull out some double kills with this thing in one magazine, but it's pretty hard to do that. And you kind of have to be in a lucky situation for that to happen. But this is really only good for like getting one kill per magazine. And so it does have high vertical recoil, but if you can control that vertical recoil, you can definitely take out enemies and just pull this thing out of your butt and just literally melt enemies. You guys, I cannot express that enough. I love this sidearm to death and I can't wait to use it in the full game where you can actually get it to become dual wield and of course unlock future I guess magazine attachments that increase its ammo capacity which is something I am definitely looking forward to but yes use this as your sidearm use it as your secondary you guys I promise you you won't regret it. it is totally worth using and if you haven't already then you better hop on it right now the last weapon that I have in my top five list is the m1 grand this is the only marksman rifle we have available in the beta but this gun is really really good there is a little bit of a skill gap when it comes to using this gun but I really enjoy using it it is a semi-auto rifle and of course it takes around two to three shots to kill depending on where your bullets are hitting the enemy but it's good for taking enemies out at mid or long range not something you'll really want to be using at close range but the m1 grand is definitely one of those weapons that is very nostalgic for me in the call of duty series and it's a very memorable one when i backed when i used it in during call of duty world war ii and so in this game although it doesn't really give me the same feel as it does in call of duty world war ii it still is a viable weapon to actually use especially for trying to take out enemies at medium to longer range and like i said it does take a little bit of skill to use you got to remember this is a semi-auto rifle and so it is a very accurate weapon as long as you're hitting on targets it has great bullet velocity and so if you're like literally trying to like target enemies and actually track them down with your crosshair there's a very good chance you're going to hit them because of how accurate it is it does have quite a bit of kick to it every time you shoot it so make sure you're not just spamming the trigger every time you're shooting this thing be very patient each time you take your shot make sure you the, your crosshair actually recenters on your screen and then take that shot again so that way you can guarantee yourself to kill because there's been many times where I'm shooting enemies and I'm just spamming the trigger trying to get that kill right as fast as possible but you really got to be patient with this weapon don't spam the trigger make sure that crosshair is being lined up after that uh, initial like recoil and, or kick you get from that first shot and so just be very patient with it you'll do well if you just have that mindset using this gun and other than that like it's, a, it's just a piece of cake using it does have a little bit of a longer reload time I will admit I something that would little surprise me a little bit while using this gun it did have a little bit of I guess a longer reload time but yes make sure you're very patient with each shot don't try and spam the trigger just take your time and just stay on target because I guarantee you this will be very beneficial later on uh, once you kind of figured that out but anyway that is the top five weapons in the, this video that I think are the best for Vanguard's multiplayer as of right now of course we don't have all the guns available to us just quite yet and I haven't used every single gun in the game but there are some honorable mentions I'll like to give out that will be the three-line sniper rifle that the rifle is 
really good as long as you're not using a suppressor on it because you won't guarantee that one shot kill at longer ranges and then the dp27 that light machine gun is so nice to use that dinner plate that you have in front of you can be like very obstructive to your vision but it does have a really good recoil like the recoil just feels like almost a laser beam to me when i use a dp27 and it has a very good fire rate and so it's very satisfying getting kills with that gun and so yeah those are two honorable mentions i just like to mention in this video but either way i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy this video and of course subscribe to the channel for more call of duty videos like vanguard in the future and i shall catch you guys later